Hello and welcome to another mech build video. In this one, we're looking at the hero Cougar, the Blood Adder. Now, I wanted to wait on the Blood Adder as I'm filming this Thursday night, as they just put out a hotfix to fix some of the issues with this mech. When it first came out, when you took the hotel uh, omnipods and put them onto the other mechs, such as with the side torsos to get the jump jets or the head to get the ECM, it didn't work and you weren't able to do it. So I wanted to wait until I gave a proper assessment of this mech with those omnipods as it's part of the mech's design. So what I've done here is we're doing a brawler cougar. Now, this is sort of a fine line we have to walk as this mech is slow and it's all light. So you don't have much durability and you have to get close with the brawler. However, if you stick with your heavies and assaults and work synergistically with them, this can do quite nicely. So let's take a look in the mech lab here. We have three Artemis 6s in the le right torso, left torso, and left arm with five tons of ammunition. Might not even need this much ammo. You could probably drop one of these and put in a heatsink, for example, and should still be more than enough. So a little bit of flexibility in your choices here. Also, we have four ER small lasers in the Cougar C right arm. And that gives us a little bit of a punch there and works quite nicely. I mean, you look at this and you go like four ER small lasers, three Artemis sixes. You know, this is the kind of firepower you would see on a medium, but we have it on a little 35 tonner light. Also, we got that hotel head, the one that I was waiting for, which gives us ECM, it allows us to hide ourselves. We're not as that much of a target. Uh, we can get a little bit closer before people go, hey, let's, I see that, let's shoot it. Popping over here to the skills, we'll go through what I've got on this mech. We've got a fair amount in the, the firepower, not a lot. I've, As you see, I've unlocked a lot, a lot of the points here. I've been doing a lot of experimenting. Uh, get some laser duration because that's always nice. And then one point into missile rack to increase our ammo by 10%. In durability, we have almost everything because we are a slow, light mech. We need the durability to stay alive on the battlefield, and this allows you to take that extra couple hits. As we look, we get an extra plus eight in the center torso from just our armor, and equivalently in the structure, the same sort of durability increases. Into mobility, we get our top speed increase because we definitely need it. This thing is slow. Even with a top speed increase, it's at 87 kilometers an hour. We need every little bit out of our mobility in order to make this thing work. In operations, we have 8% cool run just to give this thing a little bit more um, efficiency in that way. And then under sensors, because we have ECM on it, we go down and get both of our enhanced ECM. And then since we're here, I grabbed the seismic sensor and we have targeting decay um, that was a node that I had in here when I was running LRMs and ATMs on this thing to see how they work but if you want to also you could switch this thing over to a three streak SRM sixes and then targeting decay is useful for that so you can move this one node as you wish you could probably throw it back over here into this skeletal density or into one of the uh, firepower trees but yeah, we're going to head on in and see how we can make this slow mech here. But so much firepower. And for our first match with this mech, we are on HPG Manifold Skirmish. We're going to head on out. And again, we have to stay with our team here. We are slow and fragile with just a sledgehammer of an attack for a light mech. So I'm just going to find a, an assault buddy. We got this battle master here. I'm just going to snuggle up to him. And I'm just going to follow him around and be his personal ECM helper. If a uh, light tries to get on his butt, I'm going to scare it off. And that is how I figured this uh, kind of design is going to function. Now, if that uh, group of... Ooh, death strike. I might want to go with that one. Sorry, battle master. I feel like the death strike would be even better for me. But we're moving forward. Target Let's see what acquired. we got here. Though, Battlemaster, don't poke, poke over too much there. Ah, good. He's falling back into cover. This is Evan Jag. Could we do something to this guy? 
I wonder. Ooh, ooh, we got one kill. Excellent. Some shots coming up from the top there into the side. I'm going to start hitting around the right side. I need to start uh, really thinking about where the teams are going to move before they move it. Oh, God. Atlas coming from underneath. Don't you shoot your stuff at me. Oh, don't you shoot your stuff at me. All right, let's push him in. Let's do it. That MRM is so much spread to them. We are a scary little cougar. We can take the fight to these guys. We just have to uh, make sure we don't expose ourselves too much. Yeah, we're going after this Atlas. <laughs> a cougar is eating the Atlas. Oh, hey, Texan Scrub Lord. Yeah, I know him. Awesome. So we managed to eat two assaults early in the match. Let's see where we're going to go. So our guys are pushing around this right side up top. And these guys are coming out this bottom. So I feel I can I can follow them out. Would be maybe a little concerned about people shooting Target down at us. Acquired. But mm, I think there's enough saturation of uh, allies here. that I don't have to worry about it. I got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. New we're going to come around here. An Irby. Ooh, I want to catch this Irby out. Oh no, I didn't go far enough. Come around this corner. Irby's right there. I want to chase him down. None of these UAVs are ours, and I want to shoot them down, too. Oh, hello, Irby. I will happily say hello to you at short range. Your light PPC does nothing here. <laughs> Die, Irby Mech. Die. We also got this uh, Shadow Cat, who we just drop with Texan Scrub Lord as well. New target acquired. Irby, you're not escaping the the cougar. It's on the hunt. We're hunting. New target acquired. Oh, come here. Land. Do it. There we go. Now I can put good shots into you. Stupid cougar. Stop trying to jump away from me. Accept your fate. And that's my victim. Heat level critical. Ow, okay, overheated. Over a little toasty. Over Even with that extra heat sink I put onto it right at the end. A little toasty. It's 8 5. Well, we're doing good. Six. Alright. Uh, should we have all of them up there? So let's get back up. Do 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 do. Ember. Mm. Might be a little frightening. He's got those machine guns. Could uh, possibly. Rip some components apart, but I just need to catch that right torso, hopefully. Hopefully that's all I need to do. Is catch that right torso and he dies. Come on, up this up this hill. Ah, Uziel, get out of my way! My god. I want to actually, you know, shoot the opponents. Not my allies in the butt. But we managed to win that. 12-6, and I think I did a fair amount of damage. And I ended up with 116 rounds. That's just one ton remaining. So I think I have the right amount of ammo. We got 771 damage with our Cougar. Yes! We got 16 damage, unfortunately. A little bit of uh, stray missiles. But we got 271,000 sea bills. And oh, it's so good. Well, let's head on into another match with this mech. And for our next match, we are on Crimson Straight. Assault. Oh, I'm happy with this map. I definitely can make brawling work. <laughs> Whenever you're selecting a map and I'm in a, like, a short range brawler, I'm like looking at the polar highlands. I'm like, please no. Please no. Yes. Okay, I got a map that I can work on. Sort of thing. <laughs> uh, it's always the problem of running short range builds. Sometimes your map choices just get screwed over. But we're going to move forward here and get into position. We have to wait for our uh, assaults to get to the front. Uh, we got a little bit of pokey from over there and some incoming LRMs uh, from some angle. I didn't see which way, but also those could not be LRMs. They could be ATMs, which I must do videos this weekend all about the differences in the new techs. But for now... Just sit back and wait.
We got like see get our get our death strikes and our annihilators and all that kind of stuff up at the top here. Oh, hello. Target. There's a person right below. Fire starter. They seem to be below us, eh? A second there, I thought the guy was up top, and I'm like, oh god, time to fight. But no, he was below. Ooh, and our Ebon Jaguar fell down. I don't know if that was intentionally. Maybe it was. But that, uh. That fire start is gone now. That's a good thing. I do like that. Well, let's do some pokey pokes through the top here. We do have our SRMs on high mounts. So we can poke down through here quite nicely. And all of our lasers are on my left arm. Okay. Or my right arm. <laughs> I have to remember where my lasers are on this mech. Those are definitely ATMs. Hell yeah. Alright. But we're giving him ECM. And we're going to move forward. Getting a little bit too far. And I can't step over this, really. Ah, oh, damn it. Getting a little bit too far forward. That uh, Thunderbolt took a good hit. He's got an MRM-40 and two large lasers. A little bit of a scary build. It's kind of a spread out, the MRM-40. So I'm not that frightened of it. I think I should be able to... Yeah, do some little pokes like that. That's what I want to do. Little incoming missile. Those are probably ATMs. I'm not sure. So much fire going across that hill. At this moment, I wish I could have a jump jet, but then I wouldn't have the missile racks. Oh God! The MRMs. All right, let's back up. Let the assaults take the front. Go, go assaults. I'm giving you ECM. Go, go, go. You're durable. <laughs> Don't make the uh, the light mech poke. You guys poke. That looks like we're falling back. Just gotta go with the ebb and flow of the battlefield. These guys are sort of getting in each other's way. Oh, and our Stormcrow fell. Is that Stormcrow doing okay, though? Nope, he going down. I was gonna be like, if he's doing okay, I'll go join him. But no, I'm not going there. He went down too quickly. Ooh, we got people below us. Alright. Yeah, they're pushing through below. Get some fire down here as they go on by. And then if they're pushing through, I can probably go down around the backside and start hooking around. That's where I want to be. I'd like to get down and not be in a bad location. That uh, Miss Lynx that was here has moved on. Just wanted to check to make sure he wasn't hiding there. And we can pop down here and we can start doing acquired. shots like this right into the back of the Centurion. New target oh, hello Mr. Miss Lynx. Four heavy mediums. Oh, it's Texan Scrub Lord. Hello. Fighting him in the last match. God, those heavy mediums hurt. Let's not fight that. I don't feel like a. Do, 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 do. I don't feel like I can take them out with my SRMs. Do not feel confident in that brawl. Let's go over here, regroup with the team. We just need to wait. We just need to wait until that moment when it is right to drop, and then we'll go as a team. No, oh, my left torso. No target acquired. <laughs> there goes the king crab. He's falling down. Tempted to go with him. But I'm frightened of things. Uh, this is the one part. Is that this build is so short range and you know want to get in there and brawl your face off, but the. Uh, the mech is so weak comparatively in terms of uh, armor. It's just not capable of doing those fights. But we are getting good trades on that Mad Cat Mark II, and he does go down. We are 5 3. Uh, so this is looking good for us. There's a Texan Scrub Lord running around with his four heavy lasers. Just waiting for that commitment, waiting for that push that we're going to do. 
Probably not there yet. They still got guys below us. Still trading up. They're 6-3. Alright. They're half down. This is good. Just waiting. Just waiting. Sometimes that's what you have to do as a brawler. You just have to stay out of the fight and just wait until it's the right time to attack. Because if we stay healthy, that's one of the best things we can do. Then, when it is time to push, they have another healthy mech to deal with instead of a damaged mech that was ineffectually trading beforehand. Nothing there. This might be the time to push down very soon here. That Evan Jaguar is looking like he wants to go. New target acquired. We might just go join this group of three over here. If they're going to push around, I'm going to give them ECM. And I want to be right beside them. Oh, yeah. Got this mislinks coming in. Scrub Lord. Gotcha. <laughs> We're 8 3. We should just be able to push in and win. Everybody drop, everybody push. Go. No fear. Hey, look. We're going to live forever, maggots. We'll go right in. We'll get these kills. Well, we're going to get machine gun to death. But <laughs> he gets taken out before we go down. And we get the cookie. We get the supply cash. Yes. It's good. We'll see what the post game stats are like. I feel like I did what? Yeah. 450 damage, that's good. We got three kills, four assists, and 273,000 C bills. And let's go for one more match with this little Brawl Cougar. And for the last match of the video, we are on HPG Manifold Domination, which eh, should probably be alright for us. And people are going to have to come to the center for domination, and maybe even just going underneath it is a decent strategy. They're down there, but they're within brawl range, and I can put my SRMs into them. As long as I get, like, 400 damage, I'm going to feel like I did my part as a light mech. Let's get in there. i got to find my assault buddy. Where's my buddy that can follow in? Where? Oh, they're over there, and they're slow. Okay, we'll go forward first, and then we'll see which way they're going to go. Then we'll go and join them up. Do, do, do. Give this hunchback here some ECM. Is move up and easily take the top. I like it. Uh, do I want to go full top? Nah, not yet. Or do I? <laughs> we have our Arctic Cheetah running around the outside on top of the walls. Oh, he's being shot at though. They know he's there. Get out of there, Arctic Cheetah. Run. <laughs> that only really works if they don't pay attention. And sometimes people pay attention. <laughs> yes, Arctic Cheetah run. He's going to be chased down. That's not a good thing. Uh, we are definitely able to take the top now. As he is uh, getting out of there. Taking a little bit of damage though. Target Ooh, assault. Acquired. So some of them are chasing our Arctic Cheetah in the back. We should push something like Delta 4 immediately. New target acquired. Oxide with MRMs. Hmm. I don't know if that's actually a good thing. We got a Mad Cat Mark II there. Ultra 10s, Ultra 20s. Fall back here. Oh god, don't take a hit from that. Don't don't take the dual goss. Thank you, Mr. Mad Cat, for not shooting at me. Now, where are we gonna go? Was that the uh the cheetah? Yeah, it was. Alright. That death was the cheetah. I want to make sure of that. It wasn't somebody on the front. As I was expecting his death, but I wouldn't be expecting somebody else's death at this early. New All target right. acquired. Let's, let's go right here. Let's do this. New target no, another person goes down. <gasps> this is not going well. Oh, shit. There's more there than I expected. <laughs> That's a lot of MRMs. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> I didn't realize there was so much stuff here. Let's get into cover. Oh, but that guy's super low. Leg, leg, leg on him. Yeah, let's peek around the corner and kill him. Just because we can. I got him. 
We're back in the cover. We're back in the cover. We survived that. We got the kill. This guy needs to get down from the top there, Phoenix Hawk. You're going to get wrecked. And we're kind of caught in here. We're just going to dig in. Hopefully our allies are going to uh, stay in. We're going to hope for artillery not to kill us. Oh, thank God. Heavy metal? Can it go? I'll push right behind you, Mr. Heavy Metal. Do it. Target acquired. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Boom. Got some SRMs out on the Death Strike there as it's pushing on us. Oh my god. Are we in? We're in the shit of it. New target acquired. Still doing some damage. It's the best we can do. Hmm, where to go now? I think we just need to continue poking from this position. There isn't really much we can Target do acquired. here, except, uh, you know, resign ourselves to our fate of this location. These guys are evacuating, though. No, I guess okay. The only way we can evacuate is drop off the edge here. I know those missiles were out of range, but I didn't fire them anyway because it was just reactionary. Uh, we're down. Got an Arctic Cheetah over there. A little bit of damage to him as he runs by. We are getting swarmed, basically. Getting destroyed. But we can try to put some damage into this linebacker before he gets away. Oh, linebacker. Suck my serms. That's it. God, you have so much armor quirks. Those machine guns, though. They hurt. Go away. Side torso's gone. But I'll kill you before I go down. Come here. I <laughs> gotcha. Let's get out of here. Come on, Death Strike, whatever you are, and Mad Cat Mark II. I'll take you out with me. No, it didn't work out. <laughs> but how many damage did I get? 534. That is way more than enough for me to feel successful in the light mech doing 534 with brawl type weapons. And what do we got left here? Just two on our team and a whole bunch on their team, so. It's going to go to the opponents for this one. We got our Locust here, the Pirate's Bane being the last one. And he's got his stealth armor active. He's not uh, losing any of his heat with this. Actually, he's going down slowly. Huh, nice. Now that is something, you know, you get the, the stealth armor, you can turn it on. You can ever so slowly lose heat and you'll be completely hidden. But... Realistically, unless this guy pulls off the most Rambo-ish Pirate Spain fight in the entirety of MechWarrior Online, he is not going to uh, to win this. And why are they still ticking down? He wasn't in range there for a while? I was so confused. Why not? But doing the best he can here, doing that little bit of extra damage, he's going to scamper away down into the basement again. Yeah, it is strange. There's like little sections where he, he pops out of uh, range when he's running around. But he's got the lights on him. They're chasing him down. Oh, you can totally get this guy. Yeah! CT crit. He gets a kill. They're gonna have to come down and take care of this guy. But, ooh, what's the status of this guy? Oh, he's CT crit as well. Yeah, machine gun him to death. You can do this. You can get another kill before you go down, Mr. Locust. Oh my god, I'm cheering on a locust. What has come through? What has come to this? And he gets the kill. Mr. Locust is pulling off a Rambo move, but the dirty milkman stops the Canadian DJ with a Goss round. Good game to our opponents. Let's see the post-game stats and how we compare it to the rest of our team. We got 174,000 C-Bills, got two kills, two assists, 534 damage, a few hundred experience, and uh, second on the team in terms of damage. Second only to a Mad Cat Mark II. I like that. I really do. But yeah, the Cougar is a very interesting mech. Um, it's hard because I feel like it could use a little bit of help. Maybe just a little bit of durability, because it is sort of the slow clan uh, light mech. I mean, majority of the clan light mechs are slow. 
And you have the, the Kit Fox and the Adder that are all going around 104. But we have this thing that's going 87. Where you have something like the Urban Mech that has plus 20 armor in its CT. And it's smaller than this. I just feel like maybe this thing should get plus 10 across the mech. It does have plus 10 in some sections. If you look in the Omnipods and you go to say to the torsos that don't have any uh, hard points, like the Charlie here, it's got 10 base armor. I feel like if there was just blanket 10 and then the ones without pods were like 15, maybe that's mid much. I don't know. But something along those lines. It, it just if you're gonna be medium mech speed with medium mech firepower, can we have medium mech durability? It'd be nice, or at least just a little bit more, somewhere in between, a little bit uh, more durability than we have now. But otherwise, that's gonna be it for the Cougar Blood Adder. Yeah, it's a fun little brawl build, and I'm gonna be experimenting more with the Cougars. But for now, thanks for watching, and good hunting.